Oh. God be with you. I have some trophy. Show me. Good work. That's the... Can you teach me? Certainly. I want to... You can't become a master. Well... I'd like to get back. Certainly. I'm interested. Wouldn't you rather learn? Well. I'd like to improve. Certainly. I want to achieve. All right, but it'll cost you. Isn't that quite a lot? Agreed. Now listen up. Someone there, I must have imagined.
God be with you. So I went to check on the Bower farm and I don't have good news. Do tell. They most certainly are heretics, at least as far as I can tell. Are you sure? What did you hear? Well, for a start, the evening prayers were led by a woman. That is certainly unusual, but nothing conclusive in itself. That's not all. They're afraid the vicar will be coming after them. Who wouldn't fear that? That swine finds fault with everyone. Well, it's not like you'd have to try too hard. Mrs. Bower plans to confess everything. Confess what, exactly? Most likely her faith. The people of the farm were trying to discourage that, but her mind's made up. Oh, good lord, that's all I need. What am I to do? I don't know, but we have to help them. You're quite right. You have to talk them out of it, Hal. You must convince them to run.
convince them. That's easy for you to say. You haven't heard her talking. I'm sure you'll find a way. You have to try at least. For their own good and for yours, Hal. You're right. Someone has to help them. I'm glad you see it that way. Now hurry. You never know when the vicar might come for them. Goodbye. I've heard something about a magical ointment. Really? I'd like to know where from. And hey. what concern is it of yours, anyway? The priest is worried. The priest? <laughs> it's nice to find out what telltales you have for neighbours. But believe me, it's none of your business. Or the priest's. I don't quite know what's going on, but I'll find out by hook or by crook, so start talking. Only herbal ointment, some chanting, and three women at night in the woods. No harm done to anyone, maybe some help to some. So why don't you stop interfering? over here what the I heard something about a magic ointment that you got from the herb woman you heard that where the priest is concerned the priest can go to hell all he cares about is filling his belly and then that bastard talks down to us from the pulpit it's because of his sword the lords and the humans here that killed my husband and children where was the priest then, eh? Well, I don't quite know what's going on, but I'll find out one way or another. So I'd suggest you start talking. Look, there's no need to make threats. There's nothing going on. Well, maybe a few spells and such, but nothing that could harm folk. We mean well, I swear. Our souls are our own concern. God has forsaken us. And we have to fend for ourselves.
I've heard something about a magical ointment. What? Who told you that? Was someone asking around? Gertrude sent me. And what did she say? Does she want to add something to the ointment? No. She's worried about what you'll do with it. It's quite dangerous stuff. What I've heard already amounts to a burning offence. Wait. Really? If someone buys witching ointment, what am I supposed to think they want it for? Let me take a wild guess. Witchcraft! And witches deserve to burn. We're doing no wrong. We go to the woods alone, at night, and we hurt no one. I won't say any more. You might twist it against us. What's going on? Mother of God! That sounded like... something. What the hell was that? Has something happened? Yeah. Hi. Who's? Well, yeah. Look what comes crawling out. Oh. 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 You get one for. 
Yeah! Jesus Christ be praised. How may I serve you? Mistress Bower? What is it you need? I've come to ask something of you. Have you? And just who are you, young man? That doesn't matter. The important thing is that I want to help you and your husband. I admit that I'm a little confused. You've come to ask me something, but at the same time you want to help me. What's going on? I want to ask you not to confess to the vicar. Just take your husband and get out of here while there's still time. I have no idea why you're so taken with my fate, or how you found out about my intentions. But I'll tell you one thing. Changing my mind is out of the question. I won't betray my faith, nor my brothers in Christ. Now you've got a chance to escape. Surely you won't throw it away. I won't oppose God's will for me. For heaven's sake, woman! If it were God's will you should burn, it would have happened a long time ago. You can't know that. And don't you think the investigation is dragging on a bit? Do you think nobody in the village speaks badly of you? Don't fool yourself. Those old people from the farm who keep to themselves, they're ripe for denouncing, aren't they? And yet nobody's come to arrest you so far. It may just be that God is giving you time to get away. You may be right, but I can't lie. It's against all my teaching. You won't have to lie if you're never asked any questions. Just leave. You can preach elsewhere. I'm sure you have lots of friends who'd love to take you in. But I don't want to run. No one wants to run away, but sometimes we have no choice. If you run, your faith will live on. That must mean something. You're right. I shouldn't give in so easily. I've just grown so weary of the endless persecution. You should pack up and run away as soon as you can. The vicar might get here any minute. Thank you. Don't delay. Take care.
Honored that you should come to me. Is there anything suspicious going on in these parts? Nothing out of the ordinary, praise God. I'd like to discuss the price. Mm. See now, I knew we'd come to an agreement. Have you got a bed for the night? All right. For how long? Just the one night? No problem, but you pay in advance. There you are. You all like it here. Where do I go to sleep? You'll have no trouble finding it. Right inside the door to the building, there's a ladder up to the loft. Your bed's ready there, and a trunk for your belongings. Is there anything... Nothing out of the... Farewell.
God be with you. I found them, Monsignor. Pardon me? I found the heretics. Really? And who are they? The Bauer family and their entire household. Hmm. Well, I expect you to give me some evidence. In the last few days, I've been hearing how practically everyone here is a heretic. I found that place the captive heretic talked about, and I found a family cross there. It took a bit of asking around, but I learned it belongs to the Bowers. Their farm isn't far from here, to the north. And then all I had to do was go there and do a little spying. What of it? What did you hear? Nothing at all. The farm was deserted, not a living soul anywhere. Ha! They fled. So they are heretics. What will you do, Monsignor? It's not the first time the Devil's Spawn has fled from me. I'll do the same as always. Track them down and capture them. Don't worry, they won't get far. <clears throat> Thank you for your help. You may leave. Farewell. God be with you. The parish priest here in Ujus, he's a peculiar sort of cleric. I noticed he's quite handy with a sword. He is indeed. He's as hard as nails. More than once he's intervened in a brawl in the tavern and sat everyone on their asses. He's not to be taken lightly. I doubt he acquired those skills at the seminary. You know how it goes. The nobles send their youngest sons to study for the priesthood, and our parish priest has blue blood in him. He probably learned to fight at home before he went to university. That's how it goes with those aristocrats. But I heard something happened and he was roving the world for a while. I don't know what he got up to them. May the Lord watch over you.
I hope I can be of some humble service to you. Farewell. Let's talk about the price. Well, we can try it. Aye, that would do it. Well, I never. Hey, hey, is someone there? Apples, melon, fruit. Good health to you. Is there somewhere? Certainly. For how long? Just the one. No problem. Here you go. You all like it.
Yeah. 